Liebe Jazzfreundinnen, liebe Jazzfreunde, der Jazzclub Krefeld sendet heute ein Lebenszeichen aus der Krefelder Kulturfabrik. Wir freuen uns sehr auf einen fulminanten Start in die Konzertsaison 2021 
mit Kung Fu. Es ist sicherlich klar, dass Jazzmusik vom Austausch von Musikerinnen und Publikum lebt. Wir wollten aber nicht nochmal dieses Konzert um ein Jahr verschieben. Geplant war es ursprünglich für 2020. Außerdem wollten wir nicht in Perspektivlosigkeit verharren und haben daher beschlossen, alle Konzerte in 2020 per Livestream in eure Wohnzimmer, in euer Zuhause zu senden, selbst wenn wir in absehbarer Zeit wieder mit Publikum arbeiten können. Dass das überhaupt möglich ist, verdanken wir einer finanziellen Förderung im Rahmen unseres Projektes Klangräume durch Neustartkultur. Ja, wenn eine Band überhaupt in der Lage ist, Live-Atmosphäre in euer Zuhause zu zaubern, dann ist es sicherlich Kung Fu. Kung Fu hat sich heute mit John Dykeman zum Quintett verstärkt. John Dykeman sicherlich einer der interessantesten und radikalsten Tenorsaxophonisten in der Jazzwelt überhaupt. Wir wünschen euch viel, viel Spaß mit Kung Fu und John Dykeman. Ladies and gentlemen, out there in the digital world, we are gonna play an extreme long set. So you can go wherever you want and you come back and we will still be playing. Hopefully till the end of the pandemic. And this is the Bongo Rondo!
you very much. Thank you very much. Now I can talk to myself. That's very good. Because people had, people had to listen to me while they were standing in front of me. But thanks to the digital world, we don't ever have to meet again. We can sit on a couch, become fat. We don't have to have plants anymore. No, we can be just what we are. A stomach and an asshole. And the next song is dedicated to an asshole. And his name is Jürgen Würge.
to the next character of our evening. Marcel de Champagnon and Martha das Opposer. Marcel de Champagnon war, well, sorry I speak English from now on, because we are in Krefeld, but we are also part of the world. And that English is the international language. I will switch to excellent English now. Marcel de Champignon and <coughs> Marcel de Champignon was a fisher in Krefeld. He was a happy figure while he was fishing in Krefeld. He was thinking to himself, what a great world I live in. Everything is okay. But then he caught a fish. And the fish said, hello. My name is Gunther. Gunther? Since when is the name of a fish Gunther? And since when can a fish talk? I cannot kill this fish. I am Marcel de Champagnon. I will throw it back into whatever the name of the river of Krefeld is. And he threw him away. went back to Marta. And now, this is where we start with the music. Of Marcel de Champignon. Of Marta, the Apostle.
went home. Thinking that he did a good thing by not killing a thing that could talk. But no! Since this is a very old story, it has some sexism in it. No, but I was not so happy about it. Because she knew a talking fish, you can ask for a wish. And so she told him. Jazz, that's jazz music, ladies and gentlemen. While the band is playing jazz, I will tune my guitar. Porsche Carrera in blue. Wow, that could have been my wish. Strange. that we name, we still don't know, but there must be one, because in every German city there's a river, otherwise it wouldn't be Germany with the earth. At the fish came, what do you want? Well, first I want the pandemic to end, but after that I want a Porsche Carrera in blue. Well, that's not too much to ask. Your wish may be no shall your wish shall be and now I'm lacking more the English word for it fulfilled full what I cannot hear you granted. your wish shall be granted <laughs> Thank you. 
with us out there.
Marshmallows. Why we don't know, but extravagant Wünsche, how we say in Germany, are for sure not prohibited. Put your bunch in the pantry. Put your bunch in the sea. My Frau die is a bit hurt. Is so be so be.
Since I don't own a smartphone, I cannot say to all the comments. Do you have any comment? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, the jazz police is also in the chat, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Let me type in something real quick here. Fuck you too. Thank you. That was Tempete. And again, we changed the story because we know of the force of the comic relief. Since Shakespeare and Monty Python, it is used in all kinds of arts and storytelling. And this is a very sad story, we're going to say. But it has some dark humor to it. Because we are talking here about a very unique character. Somebody who could have achieved greatness. And there was a problem though. As smart as she or he or they were, they were trapped in a body where one can execute only the smallest things. And this body was the body of a hamster. But not only that, not only they, not only inherited great intelligence, but also some kinky fetish. Now, how do you live a kinky fetish as a hamster? We don't know, but that life must have been hard. And this is a story of Harry or Henrietta or Harry Henrietta. 
Sanchez. masturbating behind the toilet the door went open and Victoria the mom came inside and accidentally stepped on Harry in the most unpleasant way one can step on a hamster Thank you. 
and so he had a last dance But that was his end And now A slacker has no ambition or he forgot that he had one. He had so much ambition, his ambition lasted for three years. But nobody can remember the first three years of their life. So uh, from you, number four, the slacker waits till it's legally to drink alcohol. And once he has started that, he doesn't care and can live forever. And when he dies, he doesn't realize. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Slackers Fanfare. A sign of a slacker is to always be a bit late. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can clap now at home.
Very great. The slacker, give it a hand for the slacker. And now we take a turn to another record we made. We're still in the opera. You, you're thinking, what happened to the fish and martyr and all these things? Well, we're coming back to that. Don't worry. But now we come to another character. And again, it has a male name. Why is that? Because basically I only write about myself. Why is that? Because it's the only thing I know. It's a very, I'm a very narrow-minded mind who only knows a little much about himself. And this is because I have my eyes closed all the time. I don't know why. Well, this is me 200 years ago trying to climb the Eiger Nordwald. And I miserably failed and died. And that was the first Kung Fu record. And then I had the name of Hans Schmitz. I didn't know what to do except climbing a mountain. Kind of the same what everybody tries to do every day. Just it's not a mountain, maybe it's something else. And now we come to the glorious return though of that person. Because Hans Schmitz is still alive. He made it.
By the way, there is no difference with Kung Fu, with audience or no audience. It's the same size. <laughs> no, that I'm insulting the few fans that actually come to our concerts. I'm sorry, guys. The Slackers fanfare was for you. We come back to Marcel the Champagne. <laughs> To get a Porsche, a house, and uh, some affair for both sides of the ear, how we say, marriage, I'm sorry. But after, while they were celebrating their new achievements by just catching a fish, they went to Marco Söder, the coming asshole chancellor of Germany, while Marco Söder... Pfft, was having great ideas in a beer tent. I cannot imitate Bavarian, but that's how it not sound. It definitely doesn't sound like... But it sounds somehow. But what we next play is Marco Söder having a lap dance in Bavaria. <laughs>
So Marcel de Champignon went one more last time. And then the fish Günther asked, Again, you, it's you again, okay, what do you want? And Marcel de Champignon said, Well, Marta and me decided it's simple. It's best we make all decisions since we know everything the best in football and in politics and also if we get into it in finances. We actually know everything, especially after three beer, after five beer, we are geniuses and after eight, we are God. But since I cannot drink eight beers every day, I want you to make me God, and this was the first time the fish said, No! is God. That's at least what Jimi Hendrix said. Günther didn't think so. trying to be a child. <laughs> That's not what I wrote on the chart, John. This is not what we rehearsed. This is outside. Are you improvising now? He's improvising. Then I will modulate.
to the end of the story. And I don't know how long this fucking life seems was. And if you sat in all the whole the whole time, we thank you very much. And we would sell your vinyl. But you can go to our band campsite and buy it. But none you can borrow. There's nothing we play today that is on that website, actually. So if you didn't like it, you can still buy it. And now we come to the end of the story. And they became God and Jimi Hendrix was right. Because they were exactly like there were before. internet for making this possible and now we're gonna play an encore because I know you are at home whatever you do and you're like ah we want more and also I haven't introduced the band and first of all I have to to say a big thank you to Luca Lucio Herbert Marini The, who took over the drums and short notice and got for me 257 pages of music, though he told me he doesn't like to read, and I say, oh, I don't read books, but still I'm able to. Luca Marini! <laughs> On the bass from Turkey, having some trouble with Dutch immigration, but there, 
there. We, we are staying. This band is going to continue. Uh, we need to mess a deck and chocolate on the bass. <laughs> From Israel, Kamiel, where the clarinets are born, Zip Taubenfeld. <laughs> and to my left, and I must say, I, 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 I think he's quite attractive today. He has amazing red shoes. Show your red shoes, please. Isn't that fucking awesome? I mean, and he can't play the saxophone, but the shoes alone was worth getting him here. John Dykeman! <laughs> and my name is Christian Kuhn, and I try to be a composer, and I end up with a rock band, and it's totally okay. Thank you very much for listening. The next song is dedicated to... None other than Dimitri Shostakovich! <laughs>